Welcome to the video. It is great to see you here. For Licked, my name is Jay Yadlovsky, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to remove background noise in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump into the video. So we've all run into situations where we've recorded our videos, and when we go to play it back, we notice that in the audio, there's some kind of background noise. And I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can take care of that and get rid of that background noise. But keep in mind, you might not be able to remove all of the background noise. So the first tip is to just make sure that your environment is quiet and that those noises aren't there before you start recording. I know that's not always possible, but that's the best way to get rid of your background noises. Make sure it's not there to begin with. And now we're gonna jump over into DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you a little clip that I recorded here with some background noise, and I'm gonna show you a few tips and techniques that I would use to get rid of the background noise. We're here in DaVinci Resolve, and I've already gone ahead and added a video clip as well as an audio clip to my timeline. So I just wanna start by playing through this clip here, and you'll be able to hear the background noise, especially in this area here where I stopped talking, and I just recorded the ambient noise of the room. So let's just play through the clip and get a baseline of where we're starting. A little test clip here with some background noise. I'm going to be quiet for a second. I've got a space heater going. We're going to capture some of that background noise and then we're going to remove it in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so if you're having trouble hearing that background noise, I would recommend that you use some good speakers for your computer. If you don't have good speakers, maybe a good pair of headphones so that you can hear the little differences in the audio that we're gonna be making here. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways on how we can try and fix this. The first thing that I like to do is jump over into the Fairlight tab and work with some adjustments here. Usually the first thing that I'll try is adding an audio gate. A gate allows you to tell DaVinci Resolve to reduce any audio that is below a certain level. Might sound a little confusing, but it's really not that bad. So to get to your levels, you want to have your mixer open. So make sure your mixer's open on the top there. You come over to your mixer, find your audio track. In my case, this is audio one. And if you scroll up and down the little menus here, you've got dynamics. If you're not seeing dynamics, click on these three little icons here and make sure that dynamics is checked on. So double click on dynamics and that's gonna bring up your dynamics window. There's a lot of great tools in here, but right now I'm only gonna be focusing on the gate. So in audio gate, if you turn it on here, you're gonna see it has a vertical line and that's gonna be your threshold, which means at what point should DaVinci Resolve start to lower the volume of the clip. And range is how much is DaVinci Resolve gonna lower the volume of that audio clip once it goes past your threshold. So how do we know where to set the threshold? So I wanna to come to the section of the clip where I did not have any talking, where it was just that background noise, and we're gonna see where it falls on our input. So it looks like maybe it peaked around 35 or so. So it's at 35 right now. So I'm gonna boost it up just a little bit more. Maybe we'll go to 30, 33 looks pretty good. And then for the range, I'm just gonna leave that as it is. So let's go back. I'm gonna play through a little bit of the talking here and we're gonna see how that sounds. And then we're gonna remove it in DaVinci Resolve. So you can hear now it pretty much cuts out all that volume. And if we look on our output meter and our dynamics here, we can see what's actually coming through which is nothing in this case. So that's good, that's what we wanna do. You might wanna adjust your attack, hold and release a little bit if your audio sounding a little choppy, it's cutting in and out. I think that does a great job. It cuts out really what we're trying to cut out, which is that fan. So that's probably my favorite way to start removing the background noise. So the next thing we're gonna try is some noise reduction. Makes sense, right? So let's come to our audio track. We're gonna come to effects. I'm gonna select the plus, Fairlight effects, and come down to noise reduction. You've got a few presets right here that you can use if you want to. In this case, we're gonna start with the auto speech mode and we're gonna play through the clip and see if that helps get rid of that background noise. A little test clip here with some background noise. I'm gonna be quiet for a second. I've got a space heater going. We're gonna capture some of that background noise and then we're gonna remove it in DaVinci Resolve. So this noise reduction does remove some of that background noise, but I think it starts to make the audio sound a little high pitched. You can go through and adjust all your settings here and you might be able to get a good result that way. But really I prefer to go back and use a gate over the noise reduction tool. The other option you can do in the noise reduction tool here is click on the manual mode and click learn. Then go to a spot in your clip where you have no talking and it's just that ambient background noise and Resolve will learn what that frequency is and it'll try and reduce that noise. So the noise reduction tool is there for you to try and sometimes it does work good. So the other way that you can do it is to use keyframes to lower the volume of certain sections of your clip. This is gonna take a lot longer, but how you would do that is to start adding some keyframes. So if you come to your inspector, select our clip, and let's say here we wanna add a point, we're gonna go ahead of frame, add another point, and then I'm gonna come just before the speaking starts again, add a point, come into the next frame, add another point, and then I can drop the volume of that section 
down as low as you want. So those are a few ways that you can try and get rid of that background noise in your audio clips. Again, the best ways to make sure that your environment is quiet and that you don't have any background noise going on to the best of your ability. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this video. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also if you are looking to get some music for your projects, your videos, head on over to the Licked website, check them out and see what they have to offer. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.